Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number 10, part A from the November 2020 International um, IGCSE paper for variant 1. 10 part A here is about this graph, where, which is a quadratic. The equation is given y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we are asked to find the coordinates of the points A, B, and C. Okay, so you've got to find the coordinates of these three points. And the points A, B, and C are the places where the graph crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. All right, so that's what we have to do here. So to find the coordinates of the points A, B, and C, what we must do is realize that the y-axis is actually the line x equals 0, and the x-axis is actually the line y equals 0. So if we want to find where something crosses the, the y-axis, we replace in its equation the x with the 0. So we know that on the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So therefore, you have y equals 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. So we see that it crosses the y-axis at the point 0, negative 4. So that's the point C. Simple as that. So that there goes C, 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. Okay, and then we have um, to find the coordinates of A and B. Now, A and B are the points on the x-axis. So we know on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So therefore, we can say that the equation x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. To solve that equation for x will tell you the places where it crosses the, the x-axis. So here we can factorize this. This is something which will factorize um, quite easily, in fact. There must be an x and an x there because x times x is x squared. These two signs must be different because I, when I multiply these two numbers, I get that number. Okay, and the two numbers that I multiply must give me negative 4. And when I add them, I get positive 3. So that's obviously plus 4 and minus 1. I multiply them, I get negative 4. And I add them, I get plus 3. So there we have our solution. You can check in case, make sure, x squared minus x plus 4x, that's plus 3x, and minus 4. So that means either x plus 4 is 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 using the 0 pro pro property. If two things multiply together to give you 0, one of them has to be 0. Either this is 0 or this is 0. One of those two products must be 0. That means x must be minus 4 and x must be 1. Okay, so those are the values of x. So of course this must be where you've got your minus 4 because it's on the negative side. So a must be negative 4, 0, and B must be the point 1, 0. So there's the answer to part 1. Now, part 1 is all about, I guess, quadratic equations and uh, graphs of functions, even, you could say. All right, so that's that topic. All right, now, the next topic, part 2, is actually another topic. Part 2 is a different topic, which is a, diff a topic called differentiation. Okay, but I'm going to answer this in the same video because it's very short. It's just a Quick question. So x squared plus 3x minus 4 is this expression here, the equation that we've got. So when you differentiate an expression, you have to multiply by the power and take one from the power for each of the terms. So here I'm going to differentiate this with respect to x. So it'll be 2x to the power of 1 plus 3. Okay, when you differentiate something, you multiply by the power and you take one from the power. If it's an x term, the x is dropped. If it's just x to the power of 1, the x is dropped. And if it's a constant term, it becomes 0. So this is the differential of that, 2x plus 3. Okay, that's actually called dy dx. If you call this y, this is dy dx. Okay, so we could, we could do that. We could say y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. Therefore, this is dy dx when you differentiate this with respect to x. Okay, now find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 2, 6. So this is kind of like mixing up differentiation as well as straight line graphs here. So the gradient of the, the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 2, 6. A tangent, if you remember, is a, a straight line which brushes the curve at a certain point but doesn't cut through it. Something like this. Okay, 
We'll just brush the curve at a certain point, but not cut through the curve. Okay, now, of course, we're not going to answer this question by drawing the tangent, but I'm just illustrating what a tangent, tangent is. Okay, it's a straight line. Okay, so if you want to find the equation of the straight line of a tangent, it's an equation of a straight line. That's what it is. It's a straight line. Okay, so we want to find the equation of that tangent. So to find the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need to know the gradient of the line. So we need to have the gradient of the tangent. I'll call that mt. And we need to know a point on the line. Uh, well, we have the point on the line, 2 6, because the gradient is, um, the tangent goes through that point. Okay, so now, we need to find the gradient of the line at the point where x equals 2. Where x equals 2, we need the gradient of the tangent. will be when x equals 2. So therefore, what we've just done in the part 2 of the question is we found dy dx. dy dx is basically the gradient function. It tells us the rate of change or the gradient of the original function. Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to uh, find the gradient at the point where x equals 2. When x equals 2, the, the dy dx is going to be 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 7. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent is equal to 7. So we know the gradient of the tangent is equal to 7. And we know that it goes to the point 2, 2, 6. So therefore, we can find the equation of the tangent. We could use either the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Or we could use the equation y equals mx plus c. Now, most students prefer this method um, in IG level. And th for this question, it's pretty simple to use this method. The x is 2 and the y is 6. And the m is 7. So it's 6 equals, instead of m, I'm going to write 7. Instead of x, I'm going to write 2 plus c. So 6 is equal to 14 plus c. Therefore, c is equal to 6. Take away 14, which is negative 8. So therefore, we know the gradient is equal to 7. The y-intercept is equal to negative 8. So you get y equals 7x minus 8. That's the answer to this question. Alternatively, we could use this method, where basically this is x1, and this is y1, and this is the gradient. So you have y minus y1 equals 7 times x minus x1. So you have y minus 6 equals 7x minus 14. Add 6 to both sides, you have y equals 7x minus 8. Of course, the same answer. Okay, so there's the answer to part 3 of this question. And I think that concludes this question. Um, well, actually, part B is a totally different topic, which is trigonometry. So uh, part B we'll leave to another video. So this is, we'll just deal with 10A and uh, part 1, 2, and 3. It's basically three different topics almost here. You've got graphs of functions, and then you've got... Um, uh, differentiation and then you've got straight line graphs kind of like mixed up so that concludes this particular question and this video other questions from this particular paper could be found in the playlist that should appear in this region over here other questions from um, the topics of graphs of functions quadratics and differentiation i'll put in three pl different playlists over here um, thank you for watching um, see you soon